Welcome back to my online video tutorial series. Today's topic is inscribing square in a triangle. At the end of this video, you should be able to inscribe the largest possible square that can fit into a triangle with one side touching the base of the triangle. This diagram shows a triangle of side A, B and C and a square being inserted in this triangle with the base of the square touching the base of the triangle. The step is to draw a perpendicular line at the base of the triangle at both ends. To construct the largest possible square using AB, the base, as side. Next step is to draw a line through the vertex of the triangle. At a point where the vertex cut the base, join that point to one end of the, the upper left end of the triangle, the next point to the upper right end of the triangle. It's basically all there is to it. We'll be drawing this together. The first step is to draw a random triangle. Draw any triangle. Uh, this is my triangle. This is my base. Here is point C. Here is point A. Point B, point C. Next, I'm going to join A to C. Join point B to point C. Now that you have done that, the next step is to draw a square. To draw a square, each side having a length of the distance of AB. So use your T square and your Z square, or you may construct a perpendicular line. Now that I've drawn a perpendicular line at point A and the point B, I would have had three sides for my square. Next step, I will be using my compass to transfer this distance, distance of AB on the left vertical line and also on the right vertical line. Next step is to join those two points. Now we have our square, which where each side is equal to the length of the base of the triangle. Next step is to draw a vertical line to touch line AB through the apex of the triangle. I will be using my, I'm going to use my T-square to draw my vertical line. You may want to use your T-square and your Z-square. You it's recommended that students use your T-square and your Z-square. At the point
find where the vertical line cuts line AB, label that point O. The next step is to draw is to join in a straight line from O to the upper left corner of the square. Next step is to join O to the upper right corner of the square. At the points where the let's label is A, B, C, D. At the point where line O, D cuts side AC, identify that point in like manner. At the point where line O, C cuts line B, C, which is here, identify that point. This is the distance of one of the side for the square. You may use your set square to join both points or you may want to use your T-square. I choose to use my T-square. Next, draw a vertical line downward to cut line AB. Go across to the other side. In like manner, draw a vertical line downward. And to finish the square, join these two points. That is how we draw a square, largest possible square, in a triangle, wherein one side of the square lies on the base of the triangle.